Wait, heavy brunch. Yeah, yeah, it's the same. You're not familiar with such bugs and exploits. Yeah, I think I just read, read read that somewhere, and I'm not really sure myself. Okay, I think there was some herbs here, yeah? Some blue elders. Well, that's better than not having anything to heal with. You don't want to get tempted. That's true. Cannonballs. That's kind of interesting, because obviously there's cannonball technology, but no one uses pistols or muskets. Can I help you with the bandits? Maybe, but as scrawny as you look, you surely haven't held a proper sword in your hand for weeks. Well, I don't have any choice but to take your offer. My time is running out, so pay attention. Down this path here, you'll find one of those filthy holes in the ground that bandits like to hide in. The fellows there are the same ones who stole my stuff. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll nab the rabble. I mean, it does make sense that they would be using some cannons. Like, it's... I think it's plausible. Because in real life, they, s they first started using cannons, and then they started to use the... Uh, What's the, what's the word? Acrobus? Like a hands... Uh... Hand cannon. Hand cannons? No, hand guns. It, it, there was a special name. I, I forget. I need better equipment. Those swine haven't left me much. I can give you a wolf knife. Will that do for now? Yeah. You call that a knife? But what about healing? I still have two healing potions here. Interested? Of course sure. I want those potions. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's so much better. And it gives you a bonus. So 45. 13% of 45 and... Okay, let's say 4.5 and, and then there's... Uh... Oh. So we do an average of 9 points of damage, yeah. It doesn't make sense to have cannons at Gothic 2 and then have all sorts of firearms in Risen 2. The transition made no sense. I mean, uh, that depends if you if you consider Risen part of Gothic. I mean, technically, it was supposed to be a sequel. It has terrible reach. Yeah, but compared to the uh, Heavy Branch, both of them have terrible reach and have horrible weapons. That's fine. It's gonna serve my purposes for now. Hey, you! Let's mix it up with those guys. Sure thing. Just keep my back clear, okay? Now they're in for a nasty surprise. I'm actually. Oh! Okay. You deserve that. Lullaby. Yeah, he deserved it. Oh, it made no sense as a sequel to Risen 1. Oh, yeah, 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 that's... that's true. Though I don't remember too much about Risen... Uh, Risen 1. Like, how much stuff is there? You deserve that, low life. All of that is my stuff. All of this is mine. Oh, he's stuck. I think he's trying to uh, pick up a thing. Wait, where, where'd he go? Oh no, did he? Okay, he got he got bugged out. What's it, what's with minute. you, Cavalon? Can you teach me something? Sure, you know that. Man, they really took a lot out of you. You can't remember anything at all, can you? I want to learn your abilities. Sure. What do you want to know? One-handed weapons, bow, and snake. I don't want any of these yet. Actually, the only thing that I would want from him would be sneak. But that's that's for a little bit later. So, that's done. Ha! They shouldn't have messed with me. 
Then I can finally fulfill my mission. I've lost too much time already. What sort of mission? Ah, uh, yeah. First I have to get into the city, and then later... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get all that done in time. Hey, I can help you. What about me? Hmm, why not? You could take the letter into the city. Then I'll have a bit more time to take care of my equipment. One of the bandits must have the letter in his pocket. Take it to Vatras, the water mage in the city. You'll find him in the temple of Adenos. He preaches there all day. Tell him that I wasn't able to get it done. And if he asks where I am, just tell him I'm already on my way to the meeting point. Okay? Oh yeah, one more thing. First buy some decent clothes from the farmers. Otherwise, you may be taken for a bandit. Here's a couple of coins. Nice. So we got that, we got that. I do remember we can get mana from Dark Mushrooms. Sword needs dexterity. The Spiked Club has a better reach, doesn't it? So I think this is going to be slightly more useful than the Wolf Knife. Since it's only 5 points of damage and we only have 10% skill, it doesn't matter that much. Actually close to leveling up. Now I kind of wonder, would I want sneak now? Would it make sense to learn some some random abilities like picking locks and uh, removing furs first, and then maybe getting combat skills? Since we're gonna have to get them anyway, at least we're gonna have access to them quickly. You know what? I think that's a good idea. It's not that big of a deal. We're not going to be spending too many points there. I'll see you, wolf. Stupid wolf. You don't know who else can teach me. I mean, I know we can teach, uh, we can learn all three thieving abilities in the city. I don't remember the exact. Uh, I don't remember the exact uh, quests we have to do. You always take sneak from Cavalon. That's fair. Because the only thing you have to uh, be careful about, I mean, be careful about, the only thing I don't know where to get, other than in, uh, in the sewers, is pickpocketing. Because we can get picking locks from whatever his name is. The guy who makes furniture. The carpenter, yeah. Hey, stranger, I saw how you came out of the mountains. Uh -huh. You should be glad you didn't come by here three weeks ago. We would have taken you for an escaped convict. And we made short work of those. You look completely done in. What do you want here? I was attacked by bandits. Pickpocketing is useless unless we build a dexterity character. I mean, even if I... Even if I get... Let's see. Even if I invest like almost all of my points in strength, with a little bit of investment in dexterity and using all of the uh, bonus and free skill points, we can still get about 100, 120. You wasted 10 learning points. I mean, that's fair. Oh, tell me. Does dexterity decrease the chance of your lockpick breaking? Because if it does... It's still worthwhile to uh to 
get those three points. I was attacked by bandits in the mountains. Those filthy rabble. They were probably the same bastards who took one of our sheep last night. You had terrific luck. Most people don't get away alive. Those bandits won't trouble you anymore. Why? Are they dead? Yep. They picked a fight with the wrong guy. Thank Inos. Here, it isn't much, but I want you to have it. I'll tell the others about this. Mmm, get some wine. I'm on my way to town. The way you look, you'll have to bribe the guys to get in. And you have to know what they want to hear. And that would be? Well, for example, that you're from Lobart's farm and want to go to the smith in the city. But that won't do you any good. You don't look like a farmer. I see. I need better equipment. I can imagine. But I tell you right now, we don't have anything to give away. If you can pay for what you want, Lobart will sell you something. Otherwise, go to him and ask him if he has work for you. Where can I find Lobart? Well, on the farm, of course. The farm belongs to him. And don't try messing with him. He's thrashed a lot of tramps and thrown them off his farm. What about dexterity? Yeah, I was asking, is dexterity, does dexterity help you with lockpicking? If you have a high dexterity, does it make your lockpicks break less? Because I don't know if it does or not. Oh, what's this? It's going to spawn in here. Well done. What nice, we actually, we actually crit him. Wait a second, wasn't... How much experience did you give him? I think they only give 30? I should give more. Oh, whatever. We're gonna be picking up turnips. Just to sack them. It could be, it could be also Twitch on your side, because from what I see, I didn't lose any frames. But uh, Twitch could be bugging out. It does sometimes. Why are you hanging around on my land? Whose side are you on? The rebelling farmers or the king? Um, the king. I'm for the king. For the king? <laughs> That's what the city guard said when they took half my sheep. But where are those bastards when we have to keep the bandits off our backs? Where will they be when the orcs invade us? I'll tell you, in the city, behind thick walls. So, leave me alone with the king. Ah, oh, I chose wrong. Yeah, we can always say scum. And there's probably enough lockpicks to not have to worry too much about breaking lockpicks. What's going on here anyway? Don't you know what's going on? Boy, where are you from? We're on the edge of a civil war. Up till now, all the farmers looked at the tribute to the city as fair taxation. Since the paladins have come to Corinus, the city guards visit us more and more often. And little by little, they're taking everything. If it goes on like this, soon we won't have anything left for ourselves. Some farmers are starting to rebel. Onar was the first of them. There's chests with ten combinations and the lockpicks are way expensive to hire and hard to find. Unless we join up with the thieves. Yeah, I mean, safe scumming is always a good, a good idea. To open chests at least, because there's no random loot, is there? Or if it's random, at least it's probably not very important. Tell me more about this Onar. Onar is the biggest farmer here in the area. He is broken with the city. They say he's hired mercenaries to keep the city guard off his back. Can't blame him. In any case, no royal soldier dares to set foot on his farm anymore. There's a chest with 20 combinations. Oh wow, really? Yeah, 20 even with two combinations each. Yeah, that sucks. Who are those mercenaries that Unar hired? I don't know much about the guys. Supposedly a lot of them are former prisoners from the mining colony. Everybody knows what you can expect from them. What about you? Whose side are you on? Peasants or king? Now, I'm too close to the city to really have a choice, but I'm glad about that. I wouldn't know how to decide. The king is bleeding us dry. 
And Onar sets his mercenaries on anyone who won't join him. Well, that's why most of the other farmers are still undecided, but sooner or later, they'll have to choose one side or the other. Okay, I need clothes. I need some sensible clothes. I can give you clean farmer's work clothes. Can you pay for them then? Well, you could work off a part of the price. But if you're someone who is looking for work. Okay. How much would those clothes be? How much for the work clothes? Well, we'll see. Malith said you chased the bandits off. Bastards have caused us a lot of trouble. Thanks to you, we're rid of them. 70 gold pieces. Probably have a gold, but uh, no yet. Well, that's still too expensive. Well, suit yourself. I'm looking for work. I'm looking for work. I can't use another farm hand. But I could offer some work to a day laborer. Well, what I mean is you can lend a hand in the field. And there are certainly a few other things to do around here. I could pay you with gold. Or give you a few decent things to wear. The things are worth a fair bit. I can't give them to you for nothing, but I can sell them to you cheap if you work for me. Yeah, when that? You, I should say, take the clothes. Anyway, the small turnip field next to the barn needs to be harvested. Okay. All right. Then hurry it up a bit before I change my mind. Okay, I don't remember how many turnips we have. But we just pick up everything and it's going to be fine. I still have to slightly get used to, to uh, not having to hold left mouse button and then press W in order to activate stuff. Looking at the scenery with the soothing music and atmosphere just reminds you why the new gothic is gonna fail. Uh, yeah. I didn't really like the opening. I didn't really like the opening to uh, to the remake, and I didn't really like combat too much because it was slightly confusing. But hey, even if it's just half as good as Gothic 1, it's gonna be good enough. Here's your turnips. Here are your turnips. Hey, you're not all that worthless after all. Take them to my wife in the house. And tell her to cook them. What about my pay? Well, I can give you five gold pieces. Or sell you the clothes cheaper. Well, what's it to be? I want a discount. Make me a better price for the togs. Good. I'll give them to you for ten gold pieces less. Yeah, they didn't capture the atmosphere. That was just a technical demo, though. If it comes out, it could be totally different from... It could be totally different from... Uh, what, it, what the technical demo looked like. They should listen to the feedback, though. I didn't... I didn't fill, fill in that survey for nothing. <laughs> uh, do you have any have you other jobs? Anything else for me to do? I don't. But you can ask my wife or the boys in the fields. Maybe they need some help. Okay, let's go ask the wife first. One of the most obvious things: Taurus was all friendly and welcoming. Wait, did you meet? Did you meet Taurus in in the remake? No, you met Diego. And there was this one guard. Oh, we can't activate this? Oh, that's curious. We could actually steal the clothes from them. Hey. Bloodwin? No, I think it wasn't Bloodwin. At the end of the demo? I don't remember, you know, because I played the demo like two years ago or more. 
When did it come out? Let me let me actually make a take a quick gander. Cause I may be just confused. Oh, I wish I wish this app worked faster. Ninety percent of applications of different apps on on Android, either YouTube or or uh, what was it again? Twitch. They suck ass. December 2019. So yeah, almost two years ago. I've got a few turnips here for you. Great. That should be enough to fatten those guys up. Since you're here anyway, I saw a traveling trader pass by here a few minutes ago. I think he stopped on his way to town. Go to him and see whether he's got a decent frying pan for me. Can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. Give me the gold and I'll go see the merchant for you. Are you saying I can trust you? Just don't spend the money on booze, do you hear? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't need to cheat, to cheat you out of your money. No worries there. Now, I don't remember what we have to do. We could do... We could actually, uh... Enter the city through a few other means. It is Bloodwind. Oh wow, really? Yeah, that's... that's just dumb. Yeah, that shouldn't be Bloodwind. Any of the other two named guards would have been fine. I forgot their names. I think that one of them was Fletcher. But yeah, anyone else but Bloodwin. Who do we have here? You're on your way to the city. Am I not right? Maybe. Hmm. <coughs> you look like a fugitive. All fugitives are headed for the city. You could even be a former convict for the mining colony. I don't care where you come from, but I believe I have an interesting offer for you. What do you have to offer? The way you look, the guards will never let you into the city. I can help you get into the city. I have here a small piece of paper with the royal seal and the governor's signature. A pass. With this scrap of paper in your pocket, you can run about as raggedly as you please, and the guards will leave you alone. Interested? Maybe. There must be a catch to this. No, no catch. You will merely owe me a favor. How will you get into town? The guards know me. I will simply tell them that I have lost my pass. The only really friendly characters... I mean, Snap was pretty, pretty friendly, the cook in the old camp. And Wolf was actually uh, relatively friendly. From New Camp. What do you want for your pass? I knew you were the right man. Listen, you will get the pass from me, now. Just like that? Just so. But, if I meet you in the city, you owe me a favor. Do we have a deal? Uh, sure, give me the paper. Sure, give me that paper. Here, be careful with that. It is very valuable. Uh, one more thing. Don't even think about breaking your word. As a merchant, I have a great deal of influence in the city. And it wouldn't go well for you. Believe me. You also have to remember that a lot of the people in the colony weren't just cutthroats and murderers and thieves and bandits. Some of, them, some of them were people who weren't able to pay taxes. Or like, like Lee, who was uh, betrayed. Show me your wares. Take your pick. Okay. Wow, you, you got a long sword, 85 damage. How am I supposed to use this? 
Turnip. Why would I want turnips? No, we do want a pan for now. Uh, what's a two-handed weapon? We can sell the sword, because we're not going to be using uh, dexterity, at least not yet. And by the time I'm increasing my dexterity, we're going to have a better weapon. And uh, these are basically the same, and so you. Nice thing, they got unlimited money, it seems. And the rusty axe. Let's keep it for now. I've got to go. Suit yourself. Oh yeah, this is a pretty pretty good weapon for our for ten strength. What you're trying to say is that the new game should give you the same hostile welcoming. Yeah, I'm like, I'm with you on there on that. Uh, I'm gonna go even further. Thanks to the game being made in a new engine and made better, I think they can make an even more hostile and unwelcoming atmosphere compared to Gothic 1. Like, they could want to make most of the guys you work with try to cheat you out of your reward or maybe not keep their words or whatever. If you if you just think of it, in Gothic One, almost everyone keeps their word. Hey, you! If they promise you a reward, here's your frying pan. Fine. Let's see then whether it's any good. Another thing I would like to see is, I would like to see some kind of reputation statistic, whatever. That would make it so that if you have like a very good reputation or if you're famous within the colony, fewer people would want to like screw with you and would see, hey, you know what? I I know that you're a decent person or whatever, you keep your word. So I'm not gonna cheat you. Like, make it make it something like that. Something like a fame infamy kind of thing. That would be nice. Instead of just being, hey, you're in the old camp, you're in the new camp. And that doesn't change anything, because if you join the... Uh, if you join the new camp, what do you lose access to in the old camp? I don't think you lose access to anything. Maybe a trainer, too. Okay, let's make a proper save. Down here. Just in case. I don't want to lose any progress. In case the game crashes or something. Hey, Bomber. you! Lately it's gotten a lot more dangerous out here. And the field raiders are becoming a real plague. Wait a minute. The militia can't be relied on. We have to defend ourselves. Let's see, there's a guy in the new camp, in the hollow above the new mine, who wants you to bring him a ton of different hard-to-get provisions that might take hours to collect. In exchange, he gives you... Promises to give you an amazing weapon, but when you collect the stuff and bring it, he laughs at you and doesn't give you shit. Oh, I actually never did that. That's in the, uh, like... That's... Right next to the, uh, free mine. Yeah, I actually only went there once. Because I wanted to beat someone up to get a better weapon. But it's the guy in the front, uh, actually, yeah. Uh, I could beat him up, but he... Above the free mine, okay. But a lot of other people get aggroed, and I didn't want to... Didn't want to... Aggro everyone. Why is your name all caps, sir? And how goes the work? Uh, same as always. Lot to do, not enough money, and with a bit of bad luck, the orcs will come tomorrow and burn down our farm. The king's paladins have occupied the whole city. But 
but I can hardly believe they'll move their butts out here when the orcs attack us. Just a sec, there was some fighting going on here. Hmm, okay. His name is Vino, which means he's gonna need some wine. In the camp you can beat everyone as long as it's not mercenary. Yeah, I learned that the hard way. Can I help you? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about working in the fields? What is there to know? Ah, in that case, I think we're fine here. Thank you. If you want to work for Lobart as a day laborer, I can only warn you, he pays people like you really miserable. He offered to sell me some clean clothes cheap if I helped out on the farm. Hmm. Well, I don't have anything for you to do, but you can bring me and the boys something to drink. Yeah, get some bottle wine. Of wine. And I'll tell Lobart you were a real help to us. <laughs> Here's your wine. Here's your wine. Uh, I'd better not ask where you got it from, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, who cares? Uh, thanks, anyway. Lobart will only hear the best about you. Oh, I want to go into the town. Can you tell me something? I'm headed for town. And? Is there anything interesting you can tell me about the city? Nope. But Maleth goes to the city from time to time. Maybe he knows something. I mean, something that would interest you. Is there any interesting news? I could have sworn I saw an orc over there on the edge of the woods two days ago. Since then, I've kept at least one eye open at night. Yeah, we don't want to meet that orc yet. Okay, where's Malif? 